We've all had those moments of singing into a hairbrush, a wooden spoon to a glorious showstopper, but none of us thought we ever would or ever could create fame and fortune from it. We'll meet Elspeth Dickens, mother of twin toddlers with a frequently absent husband. All she wants is a little peace, appreciation, and most importantly, a voice to be heard. Well, she gets just that and so much more when her talents are uncovered on the World Wide Web. So we can see each other while I'm away. My husband gave me this webcam so that I could communicate with him, but he's not there, so I've decided to talk to you instead. Welcome to my kitchen sink. This is where I stop and think. We spoke to the stars of the new English-Australian musical comedy at the world premiere in Sydney to find out just what makes a goddess. A goddess is a woman with a fantastic personality, um, a great body, doesn't hurt. Confidence. Confidence is everything in a lady. Self-belief, sense of humour. Probably believing that you are one, I think. Really not buying all the bullshit trying to make you feel crap about yourself. I think a woman who is prepared to be who she is, regardless of all of the pressures around her, regardless of the expectations of fashion or her peers or whatever, who's just sort of true to herself and centred in herself. West End actress Laura Michelle Kelly may not exactly be a household name yet, but all that's about to change as the star of Goddess worms her way into our hearts with her shining screen presence and vivacious vocals. They just like to play the fool and run around in a circle on the ba 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 Mummy! Mother! Mummy! Not now, Napoleon! Well, I think the whole challenge of this movie is the fact that they try and make a normal person into this perfection woman, this domestic goddess, and she isn't, and she's trying to attain perfection. So I think normal people are the goddesses. <laughs> the, the tagline of our movie is, it's a goddess in everyone, and that's the truth, I think. Australian queen of comedy Magda Zabanski also stars in the film as the unscrupulous Cassandra Wolfe, yet another redhead to add to her list of standout characters. So how did Magda find playing the naughty and not so nice Cassandra? It's fun being a villain and a bitch. I kind of love it, maybe a little bit too much. I love singing kind of jazzy stuff in the shower <laughs> and I felt that qualified me. <laughs> Whatever, why not, I say. Um, and I, I said, let me have a crack, you know, and Jude Morris and um, Ronan Keating were really supportive, just beautiful, and I thought I'll just have a go and rather than do a joke version of it, which was the temptation, to actually give it you know, a bit of balls and, and make her a sexy, sort of sassy character. Adopted Australian son and former Boyzone member Ronan Keating makes his big screen debut in Goddess and is about to show the world a whole lot more than his seductive vocal talents. That's the husband. Nice tap. Great back. <laughs> it's a bit uh, nerve-wracking, really. I don't know what to expect. I'm excited about the whole thing, about the prospect of this film, about now, you know, getting into film properly. But I'm nervous about what people are going to think of me in the film, you know, and of the film, because I'm very passionate about it. And in the spirit of the film, we couldn't help but ask them what their choice song is in those oh-so-private moments. Feeling Good by Michael Bublé, his version. I love it. In fact, we were singing it while I was getting my hair and makeup done. <laughs> Doris Day, Sentimental Journey. She does, she's got a great swing voice. I Will Always Love You by Whitney Houston. <laughs> we all love that one. None of us can sing it like Whitney, but we love it. Audiences can find their inner goddess when the film opens nationwide on the 14th of March. So check back for our review. And remember, like it, follow it, right here at Switch. I'm